Hello and welcome to today's editor. Today we are talking about the recent things that have happened basically with the Hong Kong protests and mostly we're gonna talk about Blizzard's involvement in not helping that cause but we will touch a little bit on the recent NBA things going on as well. So to discuss <coughs> essentially what happened was there was a player that was playing Hearthstone, which is one of the Blizzard games, and um, he got suspended from playing Hearthstone for a year. Now, we'll get into that, but there's one other thing that I gotta do before we discuss this. Uh, and May is one of the Overwatch characters, which is of course another Blizzard game, and she's the Chinese character in the game and people recently decided that they wanted to make Mei into a sort of icon for the protests in Hong Kong to sort of affect the sale of Overwatch in China and kind of do that because China sort of bans things in Hong Kong that are used in the protest. So Mei is going to become a figure of the protest. So I'm actually going to have this May pop back here in the video and probably in more videos of this for a while. Sort of like a little subtle, subtle little hint at that. Um, so essentially before we get into why this is a big deal, Hong Kong is basically its own thing. It's its own country uh, with I guess some influence from China in it I believe is sort of how this works. Uh, so you know, Hong Kong wants to be able to do its own thing. But, you know, China wants to control Hong Kong. Similar with uh, Taiwan, which is its own thing as well. But, you know, China wants to control that. So, that's where this becomes an issue. Supporting Hong Kong protests, things like that. China doesn't really like that. Um, so, yeah. A lot of companies and people will be like, Oh no, we're doing whatever. Sort of not lose things in China, uh, which I'm able to make this video because I'm not part of a company. Um, yeah, and the company that I work for doesn't do things with China, so it doesn't really matter. So I can post all that stuff and it won't really affect things. Uh, so I'm able to do this without having any issues of being like, oh, you're going to lose viewers and subscribers, which first of all, I don't care. Um, if that was a thing, I'd rather make this video. Now, the other thing about that, too, is things like this, tweets and stuff. The way that China spins this stuff is the people and the citizens in the country will be affected by it. The protests and the stuff like that. Things supporting Hong Kong. When, in reality, they don't have Twitter in China. And... I'm sure that people in China would much rather have freedom of speech and expression and things like that if they were allowed to than living in a country that monitors every single thing that they do ever, including just like streets, like with cameras everywhere. You can't just like go anywhere private at all. Um, so something like that, I'm sure they'd much rather be able to do that than not but they don't know that these tweets exist and this stuff's happening or if it does the Chinese media spins it in another way that's like negative and then people think of it negatively and that's the only media you can get um, which also comes to the freedom of press to have multiple different news sources which you can get news from and form opinion on that instead of having the government tell you what the news is but back to this specific issue with Blizzard Essentially, a Hearthstone player, uh, I believe, I don't know what he was playing on, if it was on Twitch, stream, or whatever. Yeah, it says, part of a broadcast for Asia Pacific Grandmasters. Uh, the guy, which is Blitzstrung, wore a mask, which is similar to what's worn by the protesters, which they're actually banned. 
Uh, and he said, liberate Hong Kong revolution of our age. And what this did was Blizzard basically took away his status of Grand Master in Hearthstone. Um, and he will get no prize money. And he's also banned from partaking in any Hearthstone esports for 12 months. So starting October 5th when he got banned. 2019 to October 5th, 2020. He's not allowed to play. Um, and also the announcers who were sort of interviewing him at the time both got fired as well. So that's kind of the thing the Blizzard's done here. Now I'm sure if they said nothing about it, it wouldn't have become a big deal. Uh, now they say here, in the Hearthstone Grandmasters official competition rules, V1.4, page 12, section 6.1, engaging in any act that is in Blizzard's sole discretion brings you into public dispute? Is that dispute or disrupt day? Disrupt day. Offends a portion or group of the public, otherwise damages Blizzard's image, will result in the removal from Grandmasters and reduction of players' prize money, total to zero. U.S. dollars in addition. All the remedies may be provided for under the handbook and Blizzard's website terms. So, I guess, technically, it's breaking the rule. But, it's a Blizzard's discretion, what they think is offensive to the public. I mean, and again, this goes back to the thing that offensive to the public, the only people that are offended by it is the communist government of China. That's it. Again, I'm sure in some way the citizens in China that aren't in the government, just normal people doing their stuff, would approve of it, but they're not going to say it. They're not allowed to. You know? It's that type of thing. So this becomes an issue. Blizzard, instead of just saying, you know, we're gonna not worry about it, they make it a big deal, which ultimately hurts them as a company. Uh, as it says here, Blizzard ended their ruling by saying, we will, well, we stand with one's right to express individual thoughts and opinions. Players and other participants that elect to participate in our esports competition must buy by must abide by the official competition rules. Again, it comes back to the similar thing. Technically, it broke a rule. But, it's going against somebody's right to free speech and expression. So that way Blizzard doesn't look bad so they can make more money in China. That's what all this stuff comes back to. It all comes back to not offending the Chinese government. That's what all this is. It's nothing like Blizzard doesn't agree with what he said or something like that. It comes down to the fact of making money. And that's what it is. People in charge of companies and companies, things like that, all the people in them are driven by making more money. They don't care about the freedoms of people and things like that. If they can make more money... That's what matters. So, you know, Blizzard chose money over freedom of expression and democracy. Uh, that's essentially what it comes down to. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what Blizzard has chosen. Um, and, of course, it's caused a big thing where a lot of people deleted their Blizzard accounts from their computers and things like that. Uh... All the different games, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, all that stuff. All those different games, people sort of said, I'm not playing them or I'm deleting my account. Which leads me to where I'm at with this YouTube channel. Um, and I have decided that for a significant period of time, there will be no Overwatch content on this channel. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to play Overwatch. i got to talk to Lameen about that if we're going to continue to do that. Um, so that will be a thing. 
You'll notice some changes on the main page of the channel with the removal of the Overwatch playlist. The banner will not have Overwatch characters in it. Uh, things like that. So. I do have other issues uh, with this whole not doing things with Blizzard. Um, I, mean, I do have Overwatch League shirts. They are more the team, though. They don't say Overwatch League on them. They said that I wouldn't wear it. Uh, it is one just sold Dynasty's logo, um, which isn't owned by Blizzard. So I'll be wearing that still. Um, and then I have the like things with Diva on it. I'm going to sort of keep around just because Diva is my favorite character of any video game. It's sort of hard to just be like, I don't want this around. Um, so that's the thing. And again, the D.Va hoodie, I'll probably wear that. But I'm not going to be playing Overwatch on the channel. That's really the main part of this uh, that I really not don't want to have that on the channel at the moment uh, just because of how things are with Blizzard and people have uh, employees walked out the other day protesting. Uh, I liked that. That was pretty cool. Uh, so Blizzard's really just taking, like, an L. It's like, what do you want? Do you care about your current fans that are established and are, you know, been giving you money for years? Or do you want to make more money in China while losing people here? You gotta try to figure that out as a company and what you want to do. Overall, it's unfortunate that, you know, this is a thing that Blizzard has done. Uh, they sort of chose the wrong side of the debate. They chose money over uh, democracy and freedom of speech again, as I said. So this takes us to other companies who have done things. So, <coughs> um, we go now to the NBA, uh, where Daryl Moore, who's the GM of the Houston Rockets, which I thought it was kind of ironic that the Houston Rockets were the one taking an L because I don't like Houston Rockets. But overall, the issues with it, it doesn't matter if you like the team or not. Uh, the GM of the Houston Rockets tweeted out essentially about standing with Hong Kong, things like that. I don't I remember the exact tweet. I don't have it pulled up here. But he tweeted that, and this set off a whole big issue. Now, the NBA is trying to expand other countries. They play games in China. A lot of the preseason games are actually played with NBA teams against Chinese teams. They'll come to America and play. Or there might be, like, a game in China, I think, and things like that. A lot of the players go to China, do trips. James Harden of the Rockets apologized for the tweet. Um, you know, he wants to make money in China. Uh, the Houston Rockets overall kind of got banned from their stuff sold in China, and the Houston Rockets was the biggest team in China. Uh, of all the teams, Houston's the most popular team. Yao Ming was on the Rockets, and he's extremely popular in China. So Houston Rockets are a very popular team in China. So that even set it off more. The NBA is kind of like, we're not really doing anything about his comments, but we're not really supporting it or we're, yeah. So they kind of just went and said, you know, we're not involved with those comments. That's his decision. That doesn't have anything to do with the NBA. And it kind of went back to the same thing with what Blizzard did. It's the same, we want to make money. We don't care about, you know, this other stuff. We don't care about democracy and, you know, freedoms and things like that. We just care about making money. Um, so, you know, that's the, what the NBA has done. Um... It's unfortunate to see companies do that and organizations stuff like that really just be in it exclusively for the money, which overall makes them look worse to the place they're established in. You know, it's... You look worse by doing that now in America. Blizzard and NBA look worse than they did a couple days ago. Uh, just so that they can appease the government of China. Which is just insane that we're at this point now uh there's been other companies that have done it too i've seen a whole list of like different uh companies that have been like you know 
Let's see if I can find it here. Well, basically, there's a whole list of this stuff. Um, essentially, oh, the first thing the NBA re responded was they were extremely disappointed with Maury's inappropriate comment. That's how they started it. So that becomes a big issue. Uh, also, um, Disney slash ESPN, they don't allow any discussion about the politics of it. When you discuss the tweet by Maury, and they had the host sort of speculate if he was being sincere about it. Because Disney wants to make money in China. Uh, let's see. Other things to sort of just like appeal to China. Uh, Apple doesn't have the Taiwan flag on the iOS in Hong Kong. And uh, they also had a protest map app, which was used in Hong Kong for people to sort of avoid police and things like that in Hong Kong, which is beneficial to the people, um, things like that. But Apple added it to the App Store and then got rid of it from the App Store pretty quickly. Um, Anything else here? Uh, Google got rid of a pro Hong Kong game from the Google Play Store called The Re Revolution of Our Times because it was sensitive event uh, content. Uh, Blizzard again cut a live stream when a college here in America was doing an eSport thing and they held a Hong Kong sign. They cut the feed on that. Um, basically, Apple kind of gave, it says your iCloud data and encryption keys to China for the iPhones that are in China, I believe. I guess is what it means, so that they can track people more. Um, and it says uh, Apple also minimized the seriousness of iOS exploits that enabled China to track people. And they ended up in concentration camps in China. Good job, Apple. Um, other companies here. Um, let's see. Another big one. Mercedes hurt people's feelings. Yeah, the people are trying to record in the Dalai Lama on Instagram. This, is, this stuff is just insane. There's all those companies trying to, you know, not, not offend, um, China, basically. Uh, some airlines, American Airlines, Delta and United, says deleted any mention of Taiwan as a country and put, uh, China as all of it, even though Taiwan's its own country. Uh, let's see. Audi had an incorrect map by having China uh, without having Taiwan on it. Again, Taiwan's its own thing. Um, these are all those like, little things that companies do to appeal to China. Uh, Ray-Ban has this website description from Taiwan and Hong Kong to China-Taiwan and China-Hong Kong. Um... There's no TikTok videos that mention Tiananmen Square, Tibetan Independence, or the banned religious group Fun Gun? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but yeah, that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> these are just some of the ones that are on this list here. Um, Gap was selling shirts in Canada that didn't have Taiwan as part of China. So they apologize for that. Though 
they can sell stuff in China. Um, Marriott, which is the hotels, fired an employee who liked a tweet from a Tibetan group. Like, this, this is how much it is crazy. You can like a tweet and get fired because it supports a group that China doesn't like. Um, and Tiffany, they had a tweet that had a model covering one eye. I've seen the picture of it. I'll try to put it on the screen if I remember when I'm editing this. Um, and basically China said that that was supporting the Hong Kong protest. So they deleted that tweet. It's just insane. All this stuff. Is just insane. Now, of course, these are minor ones in the news compared to Blizzard and the NBA, which had this on a large scale. Uh, recently, at some NBA games, there's people wearing Hong Kong shirts and signs, and they're actually getting removed from the games, which is insane that people are getting removed from games for protesting in America. Um, and again, Blizzard, like, they're, they're losing people from playing their game so that they can make money in China. It, it's crazy to me. Uh, it definitely is uh, a crazy situation. So, hopefully we'll see some changes from these companies, but it really just comes down to these companies want to make money. You know, they don't care about freedoms and democracy and things like that. They care about making money. Um, you know, they want, they support countries where you can say things about the leaders in the government and go to jail and things like that. I mean, that's, a, you know, simple things like that. And you can't say that you don't like the leader of China. Now, I can sit here in America and say Donald Trump's trash as a president and uh, he's a dummy. <laughs> I don't know. Just stating facts. Um, but, I mean, what are you going to do? You know? I could say that. I could make a YouTube video saying how the president's bad. And, you know, you can tweet about it. And it's not going to matter. I'm sure he wishes he could do something about it. Um, because he likes those dictators. Uh, but... Either way, <laughs> that's a different subject. Uh, but, yeah. So, you know, companies don't want to support d d democracies and freedoms. So, that's kind of where we're at with that. But no uh, Overwatch content for a while on the channel until things change a little bit here. I just don't want to, uh, you know, do that stuff and... We'll see how long this lasts for on the channel, but if it gets to the time of the Overwatch League, I'll have to decide if we're gonna do videos on that or not. Um, but that's kind of where that is, so you'll see some changes around on the channel. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.